Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going through the rest of uh, the uh, controls that is being that has been created for us by Microsoft to use. In the last video, I walked you through the standard uh, controls. So, and I promise that um, everything will be um, explained in details. <coughs> uh, unless you're very, very familiar with um, previous um, Visual Studio, like Visual Studio.net, yeah, all these things will sound like garbage to you, so which is okay. Uh, the data, um, the data control, I used to uh, display data or to work with the data in the database so if you're not very familiar with database um, you might not be able to understand what I'm saying so um, just uh, bear with me everything will be explained clearer when I'm going to be working on each of this control in a video anyway the, uh, the grid view, the data list, the details view, the form view, the list view, the repeater, the data pager they are all different ways of, for you to display data on your page I'm not gonna say more than that and all the SQL data source, access data source, link data source, object data source, XML data source are all a way for you to uh, create a link between your application and your database so if you're using a SQL server you use this SQL data source if you're using an XML you use this XML data source then we connect a link between your XML file and your page so they can exchange information. If you're using the link, <laughs> which is another, another uh, introduction to the ASP.NET 3.5, which is a beautiful uh, concept, which I am going to be is, is an advanced. Um, it's going to be an advanced video, which I'm going to be touching. Uh, <coughs> you can use the link database. I uh, did link data source you can also use the if you're using an access um, a database use the access data source so uh, that's it for the data uh, controls now next on to the validation controls validation is um, uh, you know sometimes when you go on the website and uh, they ask for your name you put your name and they say your email address but because you just don't want you just can't be bothered you type something that is rubbish into the email area and the application tells you sorry you have to enter a correct email so how does it know it's because they're validating your uh, uh, input they they're making sure that you're not ent entering any garbage into the um, database so they make sure that they check that your e the email that you've written actually follow the principle or the uh, format of an email so that's what validation does so the required field validator will be used to make sh to make sure that you fill in the required information if they want your name and is required before you can press the button then that's when you use the required field validator the range validator make sure that you enter a number between a range or you perform an, an action that is between a range if they say enter a, a number between one and seven if you enter eight it will not go through it's going to make sure that you uh, you've you know obeyed the rules uh, regular expression validator <laughs> is the most complex one but I'm still going to touch on it this is exactly when you can define your own rules you know you can define your own rules on the internet you shouldn't let people just <laughs> dump their stuff on you <laughs> <coughs> compare validator is uh, you know when you want to compare that what users read written in one of the, your text boxes or is similar is the same to the it's like when you write type when it's like when you see uh, a form where where they require you to type your password twice so they have to check to make sure that even though you cannot see the password because it's been uh, masked it's been maxed out you can't see what you're typing in the password field uh, the compare validator we make sure that the, the information you've entered into the two uh, uh, text field is the same and custom validator well it's what it is it's a custom you know <laughs> you can uh, modify it to your art content and valid the validation summary make sure that um, uh, 
um, all the errors you know when you get an error that please enter your username or your username has been taken or you've entered the wrong uh, um, email address or your username is required all those errors instead of you displaying the errors beside each control you can actually have a summary of all the errors that occurred on the page on a particular place so that uh, the user doesn't have to be looking everywhere to figure out what is going on they can look in one place and they can see all the errors that are so called so that's the validation summary so that's for validation I'm going to be touching on validation with a very very powerful controls anyway the navigation this is your sitemap part this is what they call uh, breadcrumb you know what they call breadcrumb on the internet whereby you can actually um, you can see the hierarchy of the pages so you can see that from one page you click onto the second page you click onto the third page so you can go between all those pages with one click instead of you know clicking on the back button so it's called a breadcrumb that's what the sitemap path does the menu well as that's is what it is 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 very easy to create a menu everything will be you know taught in the on in this uh, video um tutorial video training uh the tree view uh the tree view is uh is very cool it's um tree view is like this can you see that that's like tree view anyway uh the login oh this is another beautiful um this is uh, very easy for you to create uh, a membership website where people have to register and login the login is um it will create uh, the username and the password for you to for the user to use to log in the login view um, we have the login view and the logout view so you can change you can actually modify what people see when they're logged in and modify when they logged out password recovery you see everything has been built in by Microsoft you can have just place one control and the username the user can enter the email address to get their password the login status will state whether the user is logged in or logged out so the login name you can display you can say welcome uh, my new user where the where the my new user is the username so you can display the username on the web page you know to be, just be more friendly create user wizard this is what you use is it just a drag and drop form that you can use uh, for creating a new user and a change password you see I told you everything has been created for you. you just drag and drop a control like that you see you can the user can change the password put the the current password and create a new password so everything can just be as simple as you doing this just drag and drop it and it's all ready to go uh, so I think that's it for the controls the web part we're not going to be covering this one because this is an advanced topics the Ajax extension is advanced and uh, the HTML it's just the normal HTML um, controls that you've used, you've always been uh, been using. So there's nothing new here. So um, <coughs> uh, the div, the horizontal row, the image, the table, the text area. So actually, let me show you the difference between HTML control. Let's put a button of an HTML control and um, the button of a standard control. This is called server controls. The reason why they call server controls is because even though they look almost similar, if you go to the source view, we can see the difference that the input button, this is one where we for the uh, HTML, you see, is just an ordinary, it just it will be processed right on your browser within your browser. You know, it's just going to be passed the passed by the HTML parser, so everything will be but the server controls everything which this with this ASP colon and the name of the control will be processed on the server so that's the difference this one is pressed on the server this one's pressed on the browser so this is more powerful because you can do a lot of uh, cool stuff anyway don't worry everything will become clear had <laughs> I keep promising about the future but it's true it will be clearer thank you